going over live on co-op radio so uh we'd like to say hello to radio land and i uh, hope you all notice out there how i did press my shirt for you tonight so i could look good i'm talking with peter thompson peter what's live on arrival live on arrival is a weekly show on co-op radio that we began nearly two years ago on uh, new year's eve uh, 7576. Uh, Nelson Becker, who produces Co-op Coop, and I were sitting around and trying to figure out something special we could do for New Year's Eve. And we hit upon the idea of a direct broadcast from two different clubs in town. Uh, from the Hot Jazz Club over on East Broadway and from Rohan's in Kitsilano. And uh, we decided to combine and do both broadcasts. Uh, have the traditional Dixie, Dixieland jazz for part of the night and uh, the rock and roll from Rohan's for the rest of the night. And it worked so well and seemed to be such a good idea that we left the phone lines in between the, uh, the two clubs and the studios here and uh, have done weekly broadcasts from both clubs ever since. A typical setup at Rohan's involves going down in the middle of the afternoon. Well. It involves some preliminary work. It involves a few days in advance of the broadcast going down and listening to the band and seeing what kind of uh, material they do, talking to them about any uh, technical difficulties that we might encounter, whether that's uh, an unusual number of people in the band or a different kind of PA system or whatever. On the day of the broadcast, we go down in the middle of the afternoon with microphones and cables and mixers and tape recorders and things like that and set it all up and uh, make sure that that everything's working the way it's supposed to be working. Every instrument needs to be mic'd individually. Uh, if you just set a microphone back in the middle of the club um, and, and broadcast that sound, uh, it would sound really terrible to people. Okay, instead of doing that, we put a microphone in front of every instrument or the speaker that every instrument is connected to. On an average band, that would be a guitar or two, a bass, maybe a piano. Then, of course, the rest of the sound are the vocals, harmonica, saxophone, you know, lead instruments that are played into microphones already. Okay, those microphones are hooked up to a EA system that uh, is blasted out into the club. And this is this is the keyboard, eh? And that's the bass, and then the two guitars. And that's all we need to have to, that's all the instruments have to play. Because the kungas come through and then have a keyboard. And it's possible for us to take that same signal that's going out into the club off the PA and put it into our mixer. So coming into our mixer is the PA signal, uh, three, four mics from the drums and a mic from each of the individual instruments. Occasionally a band will come down and do a sound check at that time, but uh, more often than not we have to uh, do our own sound check by talking through the microphones or playing the drums to see if they come through or whatever. <laughs> Down a little bit. Okay. The, the process of recording and broadcasting occurs in a room about 50 or 75 feet from the stage. Now we're sitting far enough away so we can hear what it's going to sound like on the tape and on the radio, not what it sounds like in the room because uh, those two sounds are uh, what you need 
and those two sounds are very different. Um, so we can mix, in other words, we can uh, choose how much guitar or how little snare drum or how much from the vocals and horns we want to have going onto the tape and, and out into the radio. And out into the radios of all the people listening to Live on Arrival. The way people get to hear it from that little room uh, behind the kitchen in Rohan's to their own little rooms where their FM radios are is through a telephone line. The signal is sent from the club back to the studios here at Pigeon Park. It's sent from the studios on another telephone line out to our transmitter on Burnaby Mountain. And then it's transmitted out to uh, all the people that uh, have an FM radio that can pick up co-op radio. These sub twists aren't groovy. No, no, you see what happens is every time we play the twist, the drummer has to pee. Uh, well, tell me, what other club in town can you get away with saying that in, eh? I mean, this is Rohan's, right? Yeah, let's hear it for Rohan's, everybody. Come on. That's good. Sure. I mean, this is a little bit of local color, you know? For sure. <laughs> Yep, it really happens. True life, drama, and adventure every Friday night around 10.30 when Co-op Radio brings you local music of all types live on arrival. You're listening to Co-op Radio, 102.7 FM, and it's time now to go down to Rohan's for Live on Arrival. the last uh, 45 minutes or so you've been listening to the music of Ride. 
They'll be uh, back here again tomorrow night. Uh, they're going to be playing a couple more sets tonight. So if you like what you heard for the last little while, uh, there's still some room down here. And uh, if you want to have a whole night of them, they'll be back tomorrow night. Uh, next week at Rohan's, from Wednesday through Saturday night, uh, another American uh, ensemble, the uh, by now infamous Holy Modal Rounders and Lay Clam Tones from Oregon. They're going to be here th here uh, Wednesday through Saturday night next week, and we'll be broadcasting again live on arrival Friday around 10.30 or so with the Rounders and the Clam Tones. Uh, we record the whole evening and uh, put that recorded material into our tape library. Um, we use that music in a variety of ways. There's a weekly program called Vancouver Extract that sometimes previews upcoming events, sometimes uh, features an hour of an uh, individual or group that uh, hasn't been in town for a while that people want to hear. Uh, sometimes it's a cross-section of country music or jazz or whatever. It's, uh, it's not only from Rohan's that we're getting this material. We, we've recorded music at a variety of places around Vancouver, as well as in the studios. So that now, with the Rohan's recordings being the backbone of the collection, uh, since we're there every week, from 9 p.m. till 2 a.m., with music going uh, fairly continuously that time, um, we now have uh, over 300 hours of of local music recorded and we can use it on Vancouver Extract, we can use it to preview upcoming musical performances around Vancouver, we can use it in a variety of other programs on co-op radio, uh, especially when the lyrical message uh, fits in with whatever that show happens to be doing and we can just play it at different times uh, during the day so that uh, the beginning of the day, the end of the night, uh, a few minutes in between programs, uh, we don't fill with uh, commercial records that much. We tend to uh, we tend to use the local music that we've recorded. And I guess since Co-op Radio has been around for a couple of years, there's a certain amount of historical significance to some of the tapes as well. Oh sure, uh, nobody else has done this kind of recording in Vancouver, and. Uh, the, the tape library dazzles the musicians that come up here, or the music freaks of Vancouver that come in to see it, because there's not a collection like this anywhere around Vancouver. And uh, every week it gets more and more important and more and more valuable, because nobody else is, is documenting uh, the music that's being made in Vancouver the way we are. And it's largely due to this show, Live on Arrival. Thank <laughs> you.